When we consider that the temperature of the steam entering the turbine is, say, 900 to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it is apparent that its effect upon the metallic components is to cause a considerable expansion. Now, if all the components were to expand at the same rate, this could be accommodated. But this ideal situation is not easy to achieve. For example, when the steam chest is charged, the inside of the vessel will rapidly reach the temperature of the steam. But because the walls of the chest are made very thick to withstand the high pressure, it may take some time for the outside of the wall to arrive at the same temperature as the inside wall. This is especially so because the outside surface is losing heat to atmosphere, even though it is well insulated. Consequently, there will be a temperature gradient between the inner and outer diameter of the steam chest. The faster we try to heat up the inner surface, the greater this differential will be. So what problem could this cause? Well, the result is that the inner surface tries to expand at a greater rate than the outer surface. This could, after many cycles, lead to cracking on the outer surface. But it does not always work that way. For example, as the inner surface tries to expand, but is restricted by the outer surface, the metal becomes compressed and may well exceed its yield point and become permanently deformed. The consequence of this is that when the steam chest cools down with the turbine offload, the metal does not return to its original state and cracks appear on this inner surface. So it is extremely important when heating steam pipework, the steam chest and the turbine itself, to make sure that we do not try to add heat too quickly. One, the steam chest and the turbine itself, to make sure that we do not try to add heat too quickly. One commonly used rule of thumb states that the temperature rise of metallic components should not be allowed to exceed 500 degrees Fahrenheit per hour, that is, 8 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Another accepted limit states that the temperature differential across the walls of pipework, steam chest, and so on should not exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit. On most modern turbines, thermocouples are embedded into metal components at various strategic points, such as the steam chest and shell inner and outer surfaces. These temperatures are 